All right, Spirit's being choosy today. I'm not sure who's watching that would make the results of these messages so sensitive. Because for a while there, Spirit was pretty much just letting whatever comes out, come out. Sacrifice. First card. And this is a mostly, I don't know which moon phase specifically, but it is a mostly full moon. I want to say that's like a waxing gibbous. <laughs> I could be wrong. I really only paid attention to the uh, most pivotal ones, if I'm being honest. The sacrifice here. She's holding a sword. There's some kind of... It almost reminds me of a dryad on her chest. Part of her face is illuminated while the rest is in shadow. She's wearing gear built for fighting. She's ready for war. But she doesn't have the look of battle on her face. She doesn't look scared, she looks resolved. She knows what she's doing and why she's doing it. She does not relish in it. She's doing what must be done. That is her sacrifice. We talked about that when we were talking about Vidura. There's a difference between fighting because you want to and fighting for what you love. Urus. Physical strength and speed, untamed potential, a time of great energy and health, freedom, energy, action, courage, strength, tenacity, understanding, and wisdom. And I'm getting on um, that sometimes you give up something that you think is awesome. Like what just happened, the reading that Spirit denied just now was... A good reading. I loved it. It was great. I enjoyed it. And the message was solid. But Spirit told me to do it over. And I did, without question. Some things get rejected. You have to sacrifice them. So something better can come in. You have to be resolute. You have to be willing to take that leap of faith and let go of something good. This card that we split to was already turned around. Should we just keep this one card, Spirit? All right, so we've got seven on the board with that waxing give us moon. And then we've got the numbers one, one, one here. I always pretend everything is fine, but being away from your energy is hard and painful for me. Sacrifice. Somebody's made a personal sacrifice, deciding to remain in separation or give something up. They know that their potential can be reached through sacrifice. Sacrifice. The bottom card on the deck is the lantern that represents everything that we gave up, our addictions. Vaping, smoking, drinking, revenge, caffeine. All of it. Even our love. Our need to control released to spirit in the form of the lantern that bridge of sacrifice in Uru's that sacrifice led to enormous strength we had a lot come out here this one slid right off the table. A silent, artistic expression, divine guidance. 
and that strength bred creativity. Then we've got teamwork, productivity, community with shaping our reality with our words. These sacrifices, this divine guidance led to the words, speaking your reality in the B, teamwork, productivity, symbiosis. Unblocking the throat chakra and stepping into our purpose, which we know is going to include our voice in some way, public speaking maybe. It's on the table, but we're still building the staircase and we don't know where the staircase leads necessarily. We are taking it one step at a time as spirit is dictating, but the manifestation is not so broad, not so specific. It is a direction, it is a desire, an outcome, a goal, but it's a state of being that could come out in any different way. It doesn't have to be one thing. And for the other bridge there, we've got the witch, one with nature, shaping our reality. I actually really like this card. All of the, the plants are just growing right alongside him. And I didn't have to tell the AI what gender to make the silhouette. And I think these are moons on the side. I think those are supposed to represent the moons. But the energy starts in his chest, spreads into the earth, into the sky. He's one with everything around him. That is what a witch is. Mastering your craft. The upward spiral, growth, ascension, the higher path. We've got the B, the Three of Pentacles, and the upward spiral here. Unconditional love on the bottom. As we've grown, the community whole plane has grown because as we know one person going through this process by themselves still affects the greater whole we are all connected page of swords watching adventure the journey seven of swords what's the seven of swords spirit The unstoppable empowerment, invincibility. This was an attempt to hinder. One more spirit. The dragonfly transmutation, the catalyst for change. The unstoppable dragonfly. 